On Koh Tao, there are 14 beaches that you can visit for relaxing, swimming and snorkeling. Most are accessible via land and all can be reached with a long tail taxi. Mayhad Sensi Beach Stretches southwards down the west side of Koh Tao from the main harbour. It has a lot of boat traffic due to the three piers that are here, so be careful when you are swimming. In front of Sensi Paradise Resort, there is a small wreck that you can easily swim to. Jansen Bay Beach The beach here is not a public beach, so you have to pay 200 baht to use the facilities and swim here. If you do not want to pay the 200 baht, then take the route down behind Charm Churi Reception and make your way down to Jansen Bungalows. Here you can jump in the water from the small bay and snorkel around to Jansen Bay or even across to Three Rocks. Be careful of boat traffic though. Sainoan Beach. Go to Charm Churi and down to Jamson Bay, but keep heading towards Bamboo Hut Bungalows. The path is very nice with a lot of cover and wildlife. It winds around the coast and should take you about 12 to 15 minutes to get to Sainoan Beach. Here you can relax or go snorkeling and maybe see some black tip reef sharks, puffer fish, fusiliers and maybe some rays. Sai Tong Beach Just a few minutes walk from Sainoan is Sai Tong. The beach is smaller than Sainoan but there is a reception here where you can get refreshments. Junjua Beach A small beach nestled on the southwestern tip of Koh Tao which is easily accessible by road. Chalok Bangkau Beach a beautifully long sandy beach with shallow waters located in the south of Koh Tao with plenty of restaurants. See if you can find the monkey in the tree on the beach. Ta Tao Beach A lovely small white sandy beach located to the left of Chalok Bangkau Beach. Tian Og Bay or Shark Bay also known as Rocky Bay. Also located in the south of Koh Tao this beach is mainly only available to the Hat Tien resort guests. The other way to reach here is with a taxi boat. Many years ago, the Thai boys would have to swim from here to Shark Island and back for the rite of passage to manhood. Nowadays, they would only have to contend with boat traffic. But back in the day, there would be black tip reef sharks, bull sharks and tiger sharks in the channel and the surrounding area. Sai Deng Beach. This small sandy beach is situated in the Coral View Resort. Ao Luke Beach. Situated on the south side of Koh Tao, it is easily reached on land with motorbike or taxi. Again, this is a private beach and you are not allowed to bring food and drink from outside. It is open to the guests not staying at the resort from 8am till 5pm. It has lovely snorkeling on both sides of the bay and a reasonably sized beach. Lang Kai Bay There is no beach here but a small rocky strip of sand that has lovely snorkeling opportunities. The way down is a little steep so drive slowly or come with a taxi or the taxi boat. Tanote Bay Beach Located in the heart of the east side this beach offers perfect snorkeling, a bit of rock climbing and a large beach to sunbathe on. There are dive schools and restaurants here as well. Mao Bay. You will be very lucky if you manage to get a long tail taxi boat here. The Thais believe it is jinxed, as many years ago a boat captain came here while being drunk and drowned. Even dive boats steer clear of Mao Bay. Mao in Thai means drunk. Hin Wong Bay. Nestled in the northeast of Koh Tao, this bay is also easily reached by a land or sea. There is no beach at the restaurant, but off to the left is a small beach. Here you will have the perfect photo opportunity with blue skies and water. Mango Bay Beach Located in the north of Koh Tao, it is accessed with a long tail taxi. The reason for this is that the way down, once you have taken the slightly perilous bike ride, is a long long walk and then you have to climb over the rocks to get to the beach not forgetting that you have to walk all the way back up to your motorbike again. Nang Yuan Island Take the Lompraya 
or a taxi boat and enjoy the famous three islands that are connected with one beach. Avoid Mondays and Tuesdays in high season. L'Empire leaves for Koh Nan Yuan at 10 a.m. and you can return either at 1.30 p.m. or 4.30 p.m. You are not allowed to bring food and drink from outside. The snorkeling is very good here as there is protected snorkel areas. There used to be a zip line here but the zip line is now no more as it was a partnership between the Konan Yuan owners and Good Time Adventures. The owners were to maintain the line and Good Time were to look after the booking side of it. Unfortunately the island owners decided it was too much work and failed to keep up their end of the agreement. So there is now no more zip line. If you snorkel in Japanese gardens then maybe you can see it lying in the water. Sairi Beach Located on the west side of the island is this very long white sandy beach. You will be spoilt for choice in the way of restaurants and dive schools as there are numerous. Get yourself a massage on the beach or from one of the many massage centers. During the day you can swim or snorkel in the shallow waters and then come back at night time to get on down and party.